Friends, greetings, and welcome to the Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements for other healthcare practitioners, use toxic pharmaceutical drugs, and sometimes deadly medical procedures if you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment to moment basis and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Our phone number is 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're talking about, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, ingredients, formulations, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, or if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team and help me in my mission to educate the world about how important a good nutritional supplement program can be, please call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the websites or by calling 866-735-2470. Of course, you can purchase products off the website or by calling 866-735-2470 as well. And for anyone interested in checking out some high-end ingredient, uh, active ingredient packed skin health products, you want to know about our Truth Skin Health products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. If you're dealing with dry skin or hyperpigmentation, dark spots or acne blemishes, if you have accelerated aging and you want to prevent your skin from getting into wrinkles and and, uh, retinol in particular is great for preventing wrinkles as well as reversing them. Did you know you can actually reverse your wrinkles with retinol? That's in the literature, folks. And that's the only ingredient that's been shown to do that upon topical application. That's a miracle that you can put something on top of your skin and actually reverse wrinkles. Retinol has been shown to do that. Retinol is a powerful cell stimulant. It's also a powerful cell normalizer. It'll help slow down the growth of cells. Did you know you can use uh, uh, vitamin A derivatives? Retinoic acid is, is used as uh, chemotherapy for lung cancer in particular. That's the power of vitamin A, and you can get the power of vitamin A from our Truth Retinol 5% gel. You can get the power of vitamin A at home if you're dealing with any kind of accelerated aging or skin health issues. Retinol 5% gel, our Truth Serum, our Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 cream. Also at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. All right, thanks for coming back and listening to The Bright Side, friends. Great to have you with us. We're talking ketogenesis, the ketogenic diet. And it's many health benefits, the calm you down diet. This is what accounts for all the benefits or or many of the benefits of the ketogenic diet. And I'm going to talk a little bit today about the mechanisms of why the ketogenic diet is a calm you down diet. It's anti-cancer, anti-diabetes, high performance, weight loss, longevity. It's so important for the brain that it is a go-to diet for folks who are dealing with seizures, important for folks who have, uh, have had heart attacks. Yesterday, we spent time talking about carnitine. Carnitine is a, a, uh, an amino acid-like substance that is very important to understand if, you're going to be lever- if you want to leverage the power of the high-fat diet. Carnitine is super important for the heart. Carnitine is also important as an antidepressant. It's important for brain health issues, particularly, especially in, 
the form called Alcar, which stands for acetyl L-carnitine. It's natural Prozac, as we said yesterday. Now, carnitine is not an essential nutrient. Your body can make carnitine, but if you have a, a seizure disorders, brain health issues, if you're a, an athlete, if you had a gallbladder removed, if you have a liver problem, you're going to want to know about supplementing with carnitine, in my opinion. It's not essential. You can get by without it, but if you have a, a, any kind of uh, cardiovascular or brain health issue or you just want to upregulate or improve your body's ability to handle fats, if, you're, uh, if you are uh, going high fat, carnitine is, an, is a great supplement. Yesterday we talked a little bit about how fats are stored in muscle. Muscle uses, I'm sorry, how sugar is stored in muscle. Muscle uses sugar to contract, but once it runs out of that sugar, muscle depends on fat. Sugar stores can be used temporarily if you if you're working out, but when you run out of sugar, your muscles are going to are going to want to burn fat. However, if you're a sugar burner, that's not going to happen as readily, and that's why it's important to train the body, or one of the reasons it's important to train the body to be a fat burner. This does take a while, and this is where keto adaptation comes in. Many folks will will deal with brain health issues, brain fog perhaps, or or just not f being tired, just not feeling great as they shift over into fat burning. That's not a reason to not go into fat burning. That's just a reason to stick through it, in my opinion. And it's also a reason to use carnitine, in my opinion, because carnitine can facilitate fat burning. Carnitine helps pull fats into those tiny little structures, the mitochondria, the mighty mitochondria, uh, little engines or little uh, 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 burning systems. I guess they're engines, little power engines that live inside cells. Hundreds of them live inside our cells. You know, you can fit a billion. <laughs> this is amazing. Mitochondria, of which there are hundreds inside a cell, maybe even thousands in some cells, are so tiny and so small, you could fit a billion of them on a grain of sand. That's amazing to me. Yet these tiny little structures of which you can fit a billion on a grain of sand, just picture a grain of sand in your mind's eye, then divide it up into a billion parts. You can't really even imagine that, but try to. That's how big a mitochondria is. Yet these little mitochondria had their own genetics. Somehow or another, their genes can fit in there. You know, DNA, mitochondrial DNA, can fit inside this tiny little entity. This tiny little entity is wildly compartmentalized with these intricate folds. It has its own membrane, and this is all something that's a, a billionth the size of a grain of sand. You guys, this is amazing. And not only is this little tiny structure a billionth the size of a grain of sand compartmentalized and, and, and intricately architected, uh, not only is it amazingly structured with this ridiculous intelligence, but this little structure is the key element when it comes to cell energy. In fact, there would be no life without this little tiny element, the mitochondria. Today, we, many scientists believe that aging itself is a function of the breakdown of these mitochondria, and based on the biochemistry, based on the science, they could very well be correct. In any case, the mitochondria depend on carnitine in order to burn their fat, and this is one of the reasons why you want to make sure that you're either supplementing with carnitine or that you are getting carnitine in through the diet. It is only found in meat, so vegetarians are probably going to want to supplement. Yes, you can make some carnitine, but if you're going high fat, it's a good idea, in my opinion, to add in, uh, add in some carnitine via supplemental form. You can get straight old L-carnitine if you just want to bump up your carnitine levels, but if you're dealing with brain health issues, you want to use carnitine for your brain, you want acetyl L-carnitine or Alcar. The ketogenic diet is just unspeakably valuable. It is the way we should all be eating, in my humble opinion. Babies who are breastfeeding are in ketosis much of the time. Breast milk contains ketone, uh, ketone supporting substances, particularly something called MCTs, medium chain triglycerides. We're going to spend some time talking about these MCTs. They're extremely valuable for health. We have talked about them in the past, but we're going to spend some more time talking about MCTs. And I'm going to tell you about a really cool strategy for up upping your ketones for stimulating ketone production when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Our phone number, 844-236-6010. We'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the bright side right after this. Don't go away. Okay, we are back on the bright side. Thank you for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 
on the archive pages of Ben Fuchs Archives and also uh, brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products from brightsideben.com and also uh, you can purchase products from criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. We blog on both and also have news stories on both. Thank you to Robert Lundgren for setting up pharmacistben.com and Jaunty Collier for uh, doing criticalhealthnews.com and Peter in the UK for doing our benfuchsarchives.com. If you want to purchase our Truth Skin Health products, you want to go to truthtreatments.com, take a specially long look at our Retinol 5% gel made with 5% of uh, the skin's most fundamentally important, well, one of the skin's most funda- fundamentally important topical ingredients, the second being vitamin C. You'll also find vitamin C in our Truth 5% Retinol gel. Don't, do, uh, don't use it too much. You only want to use it about once or twice a week. Some folks are using it three times a week, but pretty much once or twice a week is all you need with Retinol. Retinol is very stimulating for the skin. And whenever you stimulate tissue, if you're interested in maximizing the growth and development of tissue, you always want to balance out rest with stimulation. In fact, you want more rest than stimulation. That's true about exercise, too. You always want more rest than exercise. When it comes to topical exercise, and by that I mean using stimulating ingredients on the skin, you want more rest than stimulation. Two days on, five days off is a good place to be with our Retinol 5% Gel. You find out all about it at truthtreatments.com as well as our other truth treatment products, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. We're talking the ketogenic diet and carnitine and uh, supplements to use with the ketogenic diet. By the way, uh, the ultimate enzymes, Longevity's ultimate enzymes, contain a really interesting ingredient called betaine, B-E-T-A-I-N-E, in the form of betaine HCL. And this ingredient is used in enzyme products, and Longevity's ultimate enzymes especially, to up the acid, up the hydrochloric acid, acid value of the digestive tract. So betaine HCL is kind of an acidifying agent. It's used in the ultimate enzymes to help activate enzymes. You always want a little bit of acid with your enzymes, with your digestive enzymes. But betaine is kind of multifunctional. A lot of benefits to betaine. Betaine is a so-called methylating agent. It's got anti-aging properties. Betaine is also a calm-you-down substance. It uh, contains something called glycine, or it's composed of something called glycine, which is a calming substance. Glycine is also found in bone broth and uh, bone broth protein. And glycine is a building substance. You'll get that with your with your betaine. And betaine also uh, is, has some similarities to carnitine. So for vegetarians, using some betaine can help, uh, possibly anyway, stimulate some carnitine or get you some carnitine benefits. Betaine being structurally similar to carnitine and having some of the same benefits. In fact, researchers believe that there's a lot of similarities between carnitine and betaine. Use your ultimate enzymes is what that means in addition to supplementing with carnitine. And if you're going ketogenic, if you're going high fat, that is just another reason to make sure that you're using uh, using fat supporting supplements like carnitine and betaine, and for that matter, your ultimate enzymes. If you want to go ketogenic, uh, if you want to go ketogenic, in addition to going high fat, fasting is also a very important strategy and one of the all-time great underappreciated ways of upregulating your ketones, of getting more ketones, of getting more ketone power. If you're trying to lose weight or you got heart problems or Alzheimer's or dementia or you want to stabilize your blood sugar or you want anti-cancer benefits of ketones, don't eat before you go to bed. In fact, don't eat after 5 o'clock and skip breakfast. That period between uh, your last meal, say at 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening, in the afternoon, and then the next day at 11 o'clock or so, if you skip breakfast, that period between uh, 5 p.m. on day one and 11 a.m. on day two is a fasting period where your body will be generating ketones. You'll be burning fat in that period of time between your last meal uh, on day one and your next meal on day two. And the longer that extension, the more ketones you'll be generating, the more fat burning you're going to get, the more of a fat burner you will be. In effect, you'll be extending your fast, your nighttime fast on both ends. You'll be extending the nighttime fast before you go to bed, if you stop eating at, say, 4 or 5 o'clock, and then you'll be extending your nighttime fast by skipping break fast. 
and going to 11 o'clock or say lunch, skipping breakfast, don't have anything to eat, just uh, no snacks or anything, just go into certainly no sugar snacks, and then uh, have your lunch as always, as normal. And just eat between 12 noon or 11 a.m. and say 5 o'clock. If you restrict your meals to those six hours, the time that you're not eating will be a long extended fasting period that you'll be going into fat burning and you'll be going into ketone ketogenesis. And you won't be tired either once you go into fat burning. I think you might be tired, but you won't be. The body prefers ketones for energy. And from an, uh, an evolutionary perspective, using sugar, using glucose, for energy was secondary. When there was lots of animal foods around, or conversely, when we were in starvation mode, the body learned to use ketones. So in the summertime in the African savanna, when we were eating lots of zebras and wildebeest and wild animals, we got lots of fat, our body was a fat burner. And alternatively, on the African savanna, when there wasn't a lot of animal food around, we were in starvation mode, the body was a fat burner. So our ancestors were ketogenic. Babies are ketogenic. Healthy people are more ketogenic. If we didn't learn to be ketogenic on the African savanna, we wouldn't have made it. We had to learn to be ketogenic. Our uh, homo sapien ancestors on the African savanna were, were, were fat burners. Arctic explorers have long noted that Inuit, uh, the Eskimos, the Inuit people, are, uh, are ketogenic. They subsist on whale blubber. We've talked about this uh, a, a lot, actually. Other researchers have noted that many hunter-gatherer uh, societies that have not been corrupted by, by the dictates of modern, the modern world, the empire of food, have subsisted quite well on high-fat diets and, and ketone, uh, ketone, ketogenesis, ketone production. In fact, this is a common theme among numerous primitive cultures. Limited carbohydrate consumption along with their love of fat. Not french fry fat, not potato chip fat, but meat fat and dairy fat and egg fat. And what's more, these societies that subsisted on this type of diet for thousands of years lived without cancer, without heart disease, without Alzheimer's disease, without autoimmunity. These are all things that we suffer from as modern Americans, as, as modern people. Indigenous cultures that many times lived on ketogenic foods or lived on a ketogenic diet didn't deal with these kinds of things. The only reason we think that fat is a problem, that saturated fat is a problem, is because we're looking at the kind of fats we eat the trans fats, the hydrogenated fats, the fried fats. When we rip on fats, and the only people that rip on fats are mainstream dietitians and nutritionists, what they're missing is the kind of fats that are problematic are not the good fats. The good fats have been the source of main, major source of nutrition for indigenous cultures for a long time. Oh yeah, here's another really important dietary component that you want to focus on if you're dealing with, uh, if you want to go high fat or you want to go ketogenic, and that's fiber, particularly, especially insoluble fiber. We're going to spend a lot of time talking about this because there's so many wonderful ketogenic benefits to fiber that nobody ever, that you never hear about, except on this program, and uh, we'll be addressing that a lot here in the, in the coming days. Thanks for listening. We are going to take a break and come back with your... Side. I am pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here. Our number today, 844-236-6010. And we do have lines open for you. Hang on. If we're if you're on hold, we'll get to you here in just a moment. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, head over to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call the phone team at 866-735-2470 and sign up to join the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a business and make some money selling longevity products and also help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. also want to mention our bone broth protein, Jordan Rubin's formulation. It's up at... Uh, Bone broth protein is up at brightsidehealth.com. That's my shopping center store. Every time I find a good, a good product, uh, a unique product that you can't get anywhere else, I'm gonna. Uh, I try to get it on brightsidehealth.com. I got a cannabidiol. 
CBD product coming in. Hopefully here in the next week or so, you'll be able to get CBD. CBD is amazing stuff. Some of you have, uh, some of you know about it. I'm getting a lot of letters about CBD. Uh, cannabidiol is a, a fraction of the, uh, the hemp plant, also the marijuana plant, CBD. It's got some tremendous uh, benefits for, dealing, for folks dealing with pain. It's anti-cancer. It's important for brain health, according to an article that just came out here. Uh, this was uh, this was from uh, I'm not sure where this was published. A new antipsychotic mechanism of action for cannabidiol, the pharmacological strategy for the treatment of schizophrenia, has not changed in six decades, according to this article. But now, as it turns out, based on uh, based on research from India, I believe this is. A CBD, which does not have any of the psychoactive properties of marijuana, CBD has been shown to be effective in attenuating, weakening that is, the positive symptoms of schizophrenia with a negligible side effect profile. There ain't no antipsychotic drug that can say that. So it turns out that plain old cannabidiol can have anti uh, anti-schizophrenia effects on top of all, its, all of its other benefits. Check out uh, brightsidehealth.com in the coming days and weeks and you'll find a nice CBD product that's made here in Colorado, actually, by a friend of mine, uh, by, by a company that is a friend of mine. It's not made by a friend of mine, it's made by a company that is friends of, uh, friends of the Bright Side and, and run by folks I've known for many years. Okay, what else do we have here? Researchers at the Liggins Institute have found that stress hormones in breast milk are linked to C-sections. As women who have C-sections are going to put out more stress hormones in their breast milk. Women who have C-section uh, babies are also going to have babies that are deprived of a bacterial bath that occurs as babies go down the birth canal. And the breast milk of moms that have gone through C-sections tends to have less nutritional value for the baby than, this, that, than the breast milk from moms who delivered normally. And now, as it turns out, according to the Liggins Institute, there's more cortisol, more stress hormone in the breast milk of babies who were born cesarean. So as if the poor baby who came out cesarean is not deprived enough, now he's got to be dealing with cortisol from his mom's breast milk. Long story short, don't have a cesarean section unless you absolutely, positively, 100% need one. From the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, L-acetylcarnitine, that's our Alcar substance that we talked about, causes rapid antidepressant effects. Interesting. Natural Prozac, Alcar. Did anybody talk, tell you about that before they dispense your, your Zoloft or your Prozac? Chronic Alcar alters brain energy metabolism and increases serotonin content in healthy mice. You make more serotonin on Alcar. Defective carnitine metabolism may play a role in milder forms of autism. This is from the public, from the proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. That is, an inability to deal with carnitine may be involved in the formation of milder forms of autism. All of the brain benefits associated with carnitine have to do with how carnitine helps facilitate the, body, the body's burning of fats. And there is an incredibly important relationship between fats and the brain, especially two very, very interesting kind of fats that we're going to be talking about on the bright side for, uh, for the next few days. Fats, as we've said before, come in various sizes. Uh, the fats everybody talks about are the long fats, and the long fats are very important, absolutely, no doubt about it. But the shorter fats, medium and short fats, man, those are so multifunctional, it's absolutely mind-blowing, and we're going to spend some time talking about that. One last thing, uh, metabolism of, this is from the journal Prostaglandins, Leukotrienes, Essential Fatty Acids, metabolism of polyunsaturated fatty acids and ketones particularly, especially, the polyunsaturated fatty acids called omega-6s. Yes, your omega-6 essential fatty acids are ketogenic. You help you produce ketones, yet another reason to make sure you're on your ultimate EFAs. And especially if you want to go ketogenic, that means your ultimate EFAs are fat burners. They'll help you lose weight in addition to being precursors in raw materials for inflammation and anti-inflammation, in, in addition to being important for skin health, in addition to being important for the health of all of our cells via their involvement in the membrane of the cells. Now we know that PUFAs, omega-6s, omega-6 essential fatty acids found in your ultimate EFAs will help you burn fat too. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Let's go to Nevada and talk to Ramon. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side, buddy. How you doing, man? Good. How's it going, Ben? What's going on, Ramon? 
Hey, so basically just want to give a testimonial. Um, yes. I'm a personal trainer and a former collegiate athlete and just have had phenomenal results as far as, you know, what longevity has done in my life with nice. myself and my clients. And uh, the long story short of it is that I'm starting an alternative health website and wanted to know if possibly I could get an endorsement from you, being I kind of consider you one of my uh, biochemistry mentors. Oh, I love so it. I just want to kind of put it out there and yeah, see if absolutely. I can why don't that. Why don't you, uh, Ramon, send me an email and put Ramon from Nevada and then the bright side somewhere because I get so many emails. It's hard to hard to, you know things get lost. But if you put your name right. in there uh, from okay. Nevada and then mention the bright side to Ben B E N at K S C O dot com, put your phone number in there and I'll call you. Okay, and we'll talk. Okay. I'd love to be involved, yeah. and, and I really encourage anybody who's, who, who, who wants to help other people via some of this information to do exactly what you're doing, Ramon. Thank you for motivating to do that, because most people don't. The fact that you're motivating to do that says a lot about who you are as a person, and that is it's a lot of good things about who you are as a person. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to help. Well, I'm happy to help anybody, really, who wants to put a blog together or, or do a podcast or whatever. Uh, ben at KSCO.com. Make sure you're putting Ramon in there. Okay, hey, what did you notice? Why don't you tell, tell us a little bit of a couple of things oh, you noticed. Well, yeah, I didn't want to take up too much time, but um, well, like I said, former athletes, so I mean, I, you know, I mean, I've gotten essentially steroid level uh, results, you know, just being on the awesome. 90. Um, well, what was your, athlete, let me ask you a couple of things here, Romo. Yeah. What was your, what sport did you do? Uh, football. Okay. Like uh, high level, college or high school or uh, where'd you go? I mean, College, but I mean, it wasn't USC or anything. It was just uh, junior college. All right, but you were but, a serious athlete. You were a serious athlete. Right, right. Yeah, yeah that's so awesome. I still train pretty hard. How old are you? 30. And so you started on the Longevity products, and you noticed, like, st steroid-type effects, like anabolic effects, building effects. Right, right. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. As far as my connected tissue, so kind of my, my sales pitch, um, oh, we got to go to break? Yeah, we got to go to break. Are you part of the business? Are you doing the business? I am, yeah. Okay, hang on. We'll get you. We'll finish up when we come back, okay? Don't go away, Ramon. All right, if you're on hold, hang on as well. We'll get to you when we come back from our commercial break. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Got more good health information and your phone calls right after this. Pharmacist Ben here, finishing up with Ramon in Nevada. So, uh, just a couple quickies, Ramon. Tell me a couple things that you yeah. noticed. For, yeah, just well, uh, when you started supplementing just, with I mean, the longevity. Yeah, like you said, uh, it's just everything anabolic. So, from the muscle mass, energy, uh, stamina, libido, cognitive function, it just kind of all. Cognitive all function, too? Brain health, right? Correct, correct. Uh, um, awesome. And what I tell my clients with my training business is that. Essentially, I put on more muscle mass in two months with the longevity than I did probably in the previous year and a half. That's just awesome. Taking, you know, traditional vitamin store supplements and stuff like that. Awesome, buddy. Hey, Ramon, I'm glad you called. Send me a, uh, send an email, put your phone number on there, okay. and I'll give me a, a week or so, and I'll get back to you. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, buddy. Have a great day. Thanks for calling. All right, real quick, let's go to Wes in Idaho real quick. What's up, Wes? I, gotta, I want to get to a bunch of calls here. Yeah, Ben, have yes, you sir. seen the movie Vax? I have not seen it yet, but I've heard all about it, and uh, I definitely it's on my list to, list to see. What did you think of it? Uh, it's pretty good, although I've been studying vaccinations for a long time. I've got 35 books. I had my first one 30 years ago. And listening to Wakefield, I would say he's... A uh, very trained doctor trying to walk the line, I guess, or just to see it the same way I do. He talks about uh, being vaccinated too young, uh, the the fact maybe that uh, breaking the MMR shot up into three separate uh vaccinations might be better. Okay. I, myself, I want to say, hey, it's a flawed theory no vaccination has ever 
been safe or effective, and no vaccination ever will be. Uh, Susan, Dr. Susan Humphrey, dissolving illusion, states that. And I also wanted to ask you if you ever read Murder by Injection. I, you know what? I have. That's a, a, a guy, an old time. I've got the guy's name. Uh, Eustace Mill. Eustace Mullen. Eustace Mullen, right, right, right. Yeah, I have read that. And it, it, I, anybody who's interested in, in vaccines, actually, anybody who's interested in alternative health should read Eustace Mullins, who's kind of an old time, old time doc. Uh, but he's got a lot of wonderful, wonderful well, ideas about the problems with the medical model coming from a doctor. Hey, Wes, thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it, buddy. And thanks for the, the uh, information about vax. And I will definitely be checking that out. It's on my list to do. Thanks for your call, man. All right, I want to get this. Uh, I want to get Amanda in here. Amanda's a friend of mine. Amanda, you there? I'm right here. Hey, Amanda. So, uh, so let me set this hey. up real quick. Amanda's a friend of mine, and she uh, asked me a question. And I said, Amanda, you got to get on the air and, and ask this because this is super duper important. So uh, go ahead, ask your question, and then I'm going to answer for you. And uh, I want you to uh, say, get to the archives for your friend so he can listen to it. Wonderful. Okay, so we have a friend who has come down with diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis or Forster's disease. Wait a minute. And How did you even manage to say that? Say that again. I want to hear you say that. Did, <laughs> did I say it wrong? Diffuse no, idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis. You said it remarkably well. You said it perfectly, <laughs> amazingly. Did you practice? Wonderful. Come on, you must have practiced that. No, I just, I'm, I'm familiar with most of these words. The hyperostosis was a little iffy. <laughs> okay, so I think this is great. When, I, when you asked this question, I said you got to get on the air because this highlights something that I talk about all the time that I think is an incredibly important point when it comes to understanding why the medical model is a joke for treating chronic diseases, that is. It's great for treating, you know, if you get your get into an accident, it's great for that. But for treating chronic diseases, it's a failure, a joke, and a sad tragedy. And one of the major reasons is because of something, a diagnosis like diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis. So you, you see that, Amanda, as a layperson, right? And you go, what the heck is that, right? Right. You don't know, it's a mess, right? And this is what right. the medical model does. It wants us to be disempowered. Not your doctor, the model. Not the individual, the paradigm. And I have to keep saying that over and over again because it's easy to, to blame the doctor. It's not the doctor's fault. It's the model. It wants us disempowered, and it does it partially through language. So you say, oh, my God, I have diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis. I don't know what to do. I better go to an expert, right? But if you break it down... If you break it down into its individual components, the four words, and understand what this means, you'll start to get a picture of what's going on here. Diffuse means it's all over the body, okay? It's not in one place, right? Sk all right, we'll skip the second word for now, idiopathic. We'll go to skeletal. It's spread all over the skeleton, okay? The bony part. So far, so good? Yep, so good. Okay, idiopathic means your doctor, well, I'm not gonna say that, but <laughs> it means he doesn't know what the heck it is. Idiopathic means I have no idea what's going on. So you got diffuse idiopathic skeletal, right? It's spread all over the body, all over the skeleton, and nobody has any idea what's causing it. And then hyperostosis means too much calcium. It's hardening, okay? Hyperostosis means hardening. So basically, your body's hardening and nobody all over, and nobody knows what's causing it. Now, doesn't that make more sense than diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis? Your just body's falling apart. It's hardening. This is a standard way we break down, and people don't get DISH, as it's called, diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis, when they're 10 years old or 20 years old or 30 or even 40. They get it when they're 50 and 60. Uh, rarely, rarely will they get it when they're young. For the most part, it's an old person's disease, an older person's disease. 60 is not old, I've discovered as I approach it. An older person's disease. It's a sign that the body is not handling calcium correctly. It's a sign that the body is just breaking down. So the reason I thought this was important, Amanda, and why I wanted you to call, is because a lot of people are dealing with health challenges, and they think it's the special name, but all it is is this, this generic deterioration of the body. Your, your friend is falling apart, period. And this is why there's no medical strategy. There's no medical strategy for a body that's falling apart. Does that make sense, Amanda? Absolutely. Okay, so what do they give him? They give you prednisone. They give you muscle relaxants. They give you antidepressants. They give you pain relievers. But they can't do anything to build the body. 
Building the body is not in the doctor's bag of tricks, period. And this guy's body's falling apart. So what do you do? You go back to the triangle of disease, always. Number one, you got to keep inflammatory factors from getting into the, and, and by the way, before I even get into that, because we've got a couple minutes here, Amanda, if you go to a naturopath or an alternative practitioner, if you're smart enough to do that and you don't go to a doctor, but you go to a chiropractor or alternative practitioner, they'll tell you, well, it's vitamin D and it's calcium and it's essential fats and it's magnesium and vitamin K and fiber, uh, and, and these are all important, but until you go back to the triangle of disease, these kinds of supplements are not going to be as valuable. So number one, you work on the digestive system all right that means from diary that means elimination diet this is for your friend and have him listen to the archives here uh, elimination diet eliminating problem foods getting to the bottom of the of the, the, the base of the triangle which is the digestive system everything we talk about with digestive health and I'm running out of time so you know he can call me for more details but everything he can think of for the digestion uh, 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 ultimate enzymes, the, the uh, nightly essence, the Fucoid Z, apple cider vinegar with his meals, caloric restriction, elimination diet, you know the drill, I'm sure. Then you stabilize the blood sugar system, uh, keeping sugar intake down, and that includes breads and car, uh, uh, pasta and rice and potatoes and cereals and sweets, etc. Use the sweeties. Use uh, uh, the Fucoid Z, sele ultimate selenium, beyond tangy tangerine, and the healthy start pack. Then you go to calming the body down using the ketogenic diet, slow deep breathing, hot baths, and muscle relaxation techniques in, uh, along with the muscle relaxation techniques. He wants to work out his body. He wants to do some exercise, uh, for maybe some yoga, stretching kinds of exercises. And then, then once he gets all this going, he wants to start using some nutritional supplementation. Vitamin K would be helpful for him. Calcium would be helpful for him. Magnesium would be helpful for him, although he should probably take it easy on the calcium. Calcium. Um, just be a little careful with it. He still needs it. Essential fatty acids, you'll get that in the, uh, uh, in the Healthy Start Pack. Uh, anything you could do to improve fat absorption and using fatty nutrients. Ketogenic diet would be helpful for him. Um, let's see, but a, a more fiber would be helpful for him. Good bacteria probiotics, the ultimate nightly essence, would be helpful for him. Uh, anything you could do to focus on fat metabolism, and that includes, as we mentioned, apple cider vinegar and also uh, the ultimate enzyme as well as lecithin and bile salts. All right, does that help? Did I explain that okay, Amanda? Oh my goodness, yes. Thank you so much for, for your call, and I'll talk to you later today, okay? That's my friend okay, Amanda Rideout, and we do videos together. We're going to do one on the ketogenic diet later today. All right, that's all the time we have for today on The Bright Side. Thank you for listening. I'm pharmacist Ben. Check out my skin health products at truthtreatments.com and our miscellaneous health products at brightsidehealth.com and our longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. Have yourselves a beautiful, awesome, wonderful, spectacular day. I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.